my channel and if you're new here, welcome. You're just in time for my very last video from my top 10 basic series. Today we're going to be doing everything from Nordstrom, but don't worry if you missed the first two videos, I will link them down below. I also did Old Navy and Target, but today I'm so excited to be bringing you a high-end store like Nordstrom. It was a lot of fun to shop. I don't have a Nordstrom anywhere close to me, so the free shipping, free returns is perfect. So easy to buy everything online, try it on in the comfort of your home, and then send it right back if it doesn't work out. Because I do shop at Nordstrom a lot already, I have a ton of stuff to show you, both from this season, new things that I found, but also a ton of things that I have already purchased in past seasons and worn and I can give you really good reviews on. The fact that I'm still wearing them season after season is a really good testament to it being a good basic. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and let's just get started with item number one and that is a good white t-shirt. So this white t-shirt that I have on is from Nordstrom's brand BP. It's one of their more affordable lines. So this t-shirt is only $15. It is a little bit more see-through than some of the past white t-shirts that I've showed you from Old Navy and for Target, but I do not feel really uncomfortable in it. I do have on a new bra and you can see like a little bit of the top of my jeans and it's just a little bit more of like a, it's a slub knit material, but it's a little bit more see-through, but like I said, I don't feel uncomfortable. Another thing to note is this is a more cropped length tee. It's not super short. I do have on high-waist jeans, and it comes past my high-waist jeans, but it's just slightly cropped all around. It's absolutely perfect if you love to wear high-waist jeans and you love a little half tuck. You don't have to tuck very much in. It's just perfect for high-waisted jeans, but if you're one that likes a little bit longer length, full coverage, you always wear it outside of your jeans. You might not enjoy the crop length so much, so I definitely want to mention that, but I really like this t-shirt. And since I always wear high-rise jeans and I always tuck my t-shirts in anyway, I really do enjoy this crop length. Okay, so I got another white t-shirt to show you, and I did something a little bit experimental, and I thought that y'all would find really, really fun and interesting, but I got a... $95 white t-shirt just to see what it was all about just to tell you if it's worth the money um, kind of see the difference in a $15 tee and a $95 t-shirt this is by a brand that I've never heard of but I'll link it down below I looked through every single high-end white t-shirt that I could find and this was the one that had really good reviews and it looked like something that I would wear and I was really curious to try it and I prayed to Jesus that I would not end up falling in love with it so that I didn't have to keep a $95 t-shirt I do have one other high-end t-shirt in my collection. That one is T by Alexander Wang. I don't think they still make the exact t-shirt that I have. I've worn it season after season. I think I paid $85 for it. My husband about fell over, but let me tell you, I've gotten my $85 worth out of that shirt. I wore it through every season. I wore it through pregnancy. It had the perfect amount of stretch and length. And if you can wear something before and after pregnancy and also during let me tell you, my price per wear went way down. But all of that aside, I wanted to try a really high-end white t-shirt and show you how it came out. So let's go ahead and put this one on. Okay, so here is the $95 white t-shirt that I picked up. And look at this. Can you believe this? It is entirely see-through. I mean, like, you could see my skin. I mean, a lot of times you can see a little line of the jeans, but... This one is quite more slim fitting than I expected it to be. So super see-through, like, wow. Look at the back, look at, well there's probably a tag back there, but my bra, look how you can see that and just, why am I even wearing a t-shirt if it is this sheer? The only good things I will say about this t-shirt is that if it wasn't white, maybe if it was a black t-shirt, I really do enjoy the fit of this, like I feel like it fits like a glove. It's just slightly skimming right here. It comes down at the perfect length. It's not too tight around the bottom, but it is fitted. I mean, I just feel like it does fit like a glove if it wasn't completely see-through and sheer. So yeah, that's, that's about all I could say for it. I mean, it is really, really soft, but I feel like that's because it's really, really, really thin. So of course it feels like silky soft. It's super thin. Yeah, I would definitely stick to the $15 BP t-shirt from Nordstrom or the $8 t-shirt from Target or the like $10, $12 t-shirt from Old Navy. I love those so much. Do not go anywhere near a $95 t-shirt. Although I'm sure most of you wouldn't. This one is not even worth looking at twice. All right, moving on to item number two and that is a really good pair of white jeans. So 
So the white jeans that I picked up are by Topshop. They are called the Jamie High Waist Ankle Grazer. And normally I pick up a petite in jeans, but since these were called the Ankle Grazer, I got the regular length and they are just perfect right at the ankle. Now if I wanted them a little bit shorter and a little bit more cropped, I would pick up the petite, but I still love the length on these. They do come just right to the middle of my ankle. Now since Topshop is a UK brand, sometimes their sizing can get a little bit confusing, but it's very easy to just open up the sizing bar online and it'll show you the size and it'll say fits size two to four US or fit size six to eight US. Be sure and look at the second half of that line because it's gonna tell you more of US sizing. Also, another thing I really love about Nordstrom is in their description box, it'll often tell you whether it's true to size or whether you should size up or size down. This says that it runs small and you should size up one size. So I did that. I got a size 30 and it says it fits size 28 to 29 and I'm normally a size 28. So these fit absolutely perfectly. They are super high waisted, which I really, really like. And they feel like butter on. It feels like they just suck you in. It feels so soft and stretchy and smooth. These are a lot thicker material than most white jeans, so I don't feel that they're very see-through. I am wearing nude underwear, but like I said, always choose nude underwear for white jeans. But I just feel like they fit like a glove. They feel, they just feel good. They're so comfortable. I think they're a really good in-between price point between low end and high end. And they're just a really good clean pair. There's no distressing whatsoever. There's no raw hem. It's just nice, solid white pair. And I think there's so many directions you could take these. You could wear them with just anything. And I really, really love this pair. Now for spring basic number three, we have a denim jacket. I picked up this one from the brand Blank NYC, and this was my favorite one that I found on the entire website. When I got it, it was not on sale. Right now, as I'm filming this, it is on sale, so fingers crossed that it is still on sale when this video goes up. I mean, it shouldn't be more than a couple days, but hopefully it's not sold out and it's still on sale because it is so adorable. It is the perfect wash. It is the perfect amount of distressing. It's a good fit. I'm wearing a size small. And then one of my favorite details about this jacket is the buttons. It's just a little bit different. It's kind of a matte silver. To some people that might not be a very big deal, but I love denim jackets. I kind of have a collection going now and I'm telling myself, you don't need another one. But mm, this one is really, really tempting because it is so cute. Like I said, I'm wearing a small. It's not too oversized. It's nice and soft. It just feels lived in. You can see here a little bit of the distressing on the elbow. There's some distressing on the back, but it's not heavy distressing. It's just enough to make it feel like your most worn, best loved denim jacket. Everything about it is just perfect, and I feel like if you did spend this much money, you would just wear it so much that it would definitely be worth what you spent on it. Now, this is a different option, and I know that this is not going to be for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I bought this denim jacket from Topshop during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and they have one. If it's not the exact same jacket, it is almost identical. It's still the Topshop brand and it's a very heavily distressed denim jacket. So if this is something that you really do like, I wanted to point it out for you that they still do have something available that looks just like this. But you would be surprised at how much I wear this jacket. I like to spice up my wardrobe with a touch of edginess every now and then. A lot of times I wear things that are really girly and every now and then I just like to throw on something on top of that that just shakes it up a little bit, something a little edgier, something that really changes the look. And this jacket definitely does that. It's a lot more oversized than my other jackets. It's longer, more oversized, and then obviously more heavily distressed. But I think it's just adorable. And like I said, I wear it more than I even thought I would, and I have really, really enjoyed it. Now for item number four is a really good pair of wedges. So I actually have two different pairs to show you. The first pair we're going to start with is a pair of wedges that I bought last year. So I can definitely tell you that these wear so well. I wore these all of spring and summer and these are by the brand Mark Fisher. They're the cutest pair of wedges and they come in so many different colors. 
I forget exactly how many, but I want to say like around 11 colors. So anything you're looking for, you're probably going to find. These are the blush suede. So they have a light pink that is definitely pinker than this. But the blush suede, I think it's just the perfect in-between of a pinky nude. These are so very comfortable. Like I talked about in the last video, it has a really tall footbed in the front. So it feels like you're walking almost on flat ground. The quality is really, really good. These have jute right on the toe bed, but the rest of the foot is covered. So you're not going to be like rubbing blisters on your feet. My feet are extremely, extremely sensitive. So I can tell you that these do not rub blisters on my toes. They are in no way uncomfortable. This is all very soft, high quality material. I did stick to my true size in these and they fit perfectly. So I just wanted to show these to you because like I said, I can already tell you that I got so much wear out of these. They were comfortable, they held up well. I mean, look at them, they look practically brand new. And so they're a really good quality shoe to invest in. Now the second pair that I picked up with my order are by the brand Treasure and Bond. And these have been like the it wedge sandal for last summer and also this summer coming up. I have seen these on so many bloggers. I really did want them last year, but I got that pair, and so I kind of held off on buying any others. But I finally went ahead and got these because I really do love this color. I don't have anything like this in a wedge, but this one also comes in a huge variety of colors, so if this is not what you're looking for, like I said, you're gonna find the color that you're looking for. This one doesn't have quite as large of a toe bed right here, but I do not find it uncomfortable or hard to walk in at all. It's just the perfect height in the back with a little bit of lift in the front. It gives such a nice line to the foot. This is the kind that just looks really good on your foot, elongates your legs. It doesn't look chunky in the front if that's something that you're worried about. These are also the jute material on the toe, but the footbed is completely covered. They feel so comfortable. I got my true size in these, and you can see that they are a little bit short. So I'm gonna size up a half a size. I'm gonna send these back and get a size eight instead of my true seven and a half, because I don't want my toe to be sticking out over the edge at all. Um, but I love these so much. Again, they're soft. They feel comfortable. They don't feel like they're gonna rub any kind of blister. They also hug my heel really well. Like they feel so secure on my foot, having this little part at the back. It just hugs my heel nicely, and my foot feels really secure in these shoes. And sticking with shoes, we have item number five, and that's a great pair of everyday sandals. So the first pair of everyday sandals that I wanna mention is a pair that I've had for years. It's a pair that I can truly give you a good review on and tell you that it is worth the money. And that is a pair of Tory Burch Miller sandals. Now I'm sure you've seen these everywhere. Maybe you've still been on the fence and wondering, are those really worth it? Is there anything that special about them? And my answer to you is yes. I would recommend these a hundred times over. I love my Tory Burch Millers. Obviously, I have three pairs. And even if you're not the type of person to spend this much money on a shoe, um, I feel like I'd be doing everybody else a disservice if I didn't mention them. Maybe you've just been thinking about them for season after season and you really wanted somebody else's opinion. Well, I just want to mention them because they're that good to me. So I do have three colors. This one is called Light Makeup. I have the black and the seashell pink. These I actually bought in the winter time because I was afraid that the color would sell out, but these are the patent shiny material in this beautiful seashell pink, and so these are brand spanking new, never been worn, I cannot wait to wear these, but this is the new color I got for the season. Last year I bought the black sandals, and excuse me, they're dusty. My shoes on the shelf get so dusty and I need to just go through and dust all of them. But these are the black ones I bought them last year. And just look at those. They look absolutely brand new. There's not a spot on them. They just don't even look worn. They held up so well last year. And then this pair, the light makeup, they are looking a little worn. But do you know how long that I've had these? I've had these, I think, for three years. And I cannot even begin to tell you what hell I've put these sandals through. They have been through literal like under the water mud puddles. I have worn these to the 4th of July party. I have worn them camping. I have worn them outside to work in the yard. I'm telling you, I put these through some wear. And even though they are three years old and they are kind of looking like they're mostly just dirty. They have a few lines right here on the leather where it's been bent, but they're not cracking. 
and this part up here is still completely perfect even though I've like been in the mud and the water. So that is my collection of Tory Burch Millers. I would definitely recommend these. I do size up a half a size. I've never owned the patent before so I can't tell you how these hold up in comparison with the leather but I was super pleased with the leather and I've heard that the patent holds up even better so I can't wait to wear these this year and I know that I'm going to get to wear them for many spring and summers down the road and I wore these like I did not take these off of my foot the year of 2016. It was all I wore with every outfit. I wore them to church. I wore them with dresses. I wore them very casually all the way to date night. Like I said, these were glued to my foot the year of 2016 and I've worn them ever since and I just keep adding to my collection because I love them so much. Okay, enough about these Tory Burch sandals. I want to show you the new pair that I picked up and these are by the brand Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman is another brand that I really, really enjoy. I think their shoes are such high quality. I think they are worth the price. Everything I've ever gotten from them is just superior in comfort. These I don't find to be anything like extraordinary in the comfort department, but they're definitely comfortable shoes that you can feel the quality. You know these are going to hold up and just look at these rhinestones. These are so pretty. I love the nude underneath the rhinestones so that they go with everything, but these are just gonna dress up an outfit. You're not gonna have to wear much jewelry. These are gonna be like your popping piece on your outfit. Like I could wear them with this edgy jacket and it's just a little pop of something different. It just adds to the outfit and changes it up a little bit, but you could also wear these with a t-shirt and jeans, t-shirt and shorts. You could wear them with a long maxi dress and it'd be a really nice dressier sandal to wear out. I just think there's so much you could do with these that I thought they were a perfect basic that really just added a little something extra to your wardrobe. Now moving on to item number six and that is a pair of earrings. So I actually have three different pair of earrings to show you because I just couldn't decide. I went through the whole website and I was like, there's so many options here, so many really good options of good quality pieces that are going to last you um, and that make for great everyday staples. So the first one I'm going to show you are by the brand Kendra Scott. I think this is a really good go-to brand when you want to get some quality for your money. So here's the first pair. It's a pair of really cute studs and it's more of a matte or like brush gold. So I just thought these were the perfect size. They look dainty but they also look substantial like they cover both bases. They're just a really nice stud that feel good quality and obviously will go with anything. Not only is it a stud and a really good size but I love this color to go with anything. You can mix and match metals. It's just a really good basic. Now the second pair that I got is a lot more my style. Like I said, I like big statement earrings. I like dangly earrings. But these also seem to be the perfect size for an everyday pair. And it also is the perfect color palette for an everyday pair. So the top is that same like brushed gold bar. And then under that, this beautiful like pearly white stone that dangles off in just a really fun shape. I don't even know what you call that. It's kind of like asymmetrical, but it's just a really fun pair of earrings that I think, like I said, will go with everything, but it's still a little bit of a drop, so it'll make a little bit of a statement, but these are just so nice. I love most everything from Kendra Scott. I have some of the like original uh, top dangly earrings and I still wear those, but these are just something fun and a little bit different. And then the third pair is from Kate Spade. These are also a stud with a diamond, but I love the little attention to detail around the stud and that is these little dots. These also come in a black stone in the middle and also a pearl, but fingers crossed these are also still on sale. These are going to be under $20 for a designer pair of studs. So you're going to get really good quality with these, but you're going to pay a low end price. So I thought that was a really good deal, but I thought it was really fun just to show you a few higher end pair of everyday earrings that you're going to be able to wear from now and for years to come. Okay, we're on to item number seven and that is sunglasses. So here are the sunglasses I'm gonna try on for you. I'm afraid I don't have enough to show you. <laughs> this is somewhere that, I'm not gonna say I went overboard because I didn't purchase a single pair of these um, when I placed the order for all of this. This is all of the sunglasses that I had on hand that are from Nordstrom and in stock. So that's a little bit embarrassing on my part, but I really do love sunglasses. And it's kind of hard for me to find ones that look good on my face. 
So when I find something, I jump on it. And I have quite a variety to show you here. So I'm just gonna start with my hands down favorite pair of them all. If you follow me on Instagram, if you watch my Insta stories when I'm out like driving around, you have seen these so many times. These are the pair that I wear daily. These are the ones that stay up in my sunglass holder in my car and I reach for them every single day. I've had these for almost two years, I believe. I bought them about a year before last year's Nordstrom anniversary sale. They were actually in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I was like, oh man, I paid full price for them. But at that point, I'd already had them a year and I knew how great that they were. So quality wise, on point like these are so good of course they are a plastic frame but they feel very high end and obviously they really hold up i love that the little gucci logos on the front are very small they're not in your face or very flashy like if you're up close they're obviously gucci but they're not screaming loud in your face which doesn't bother me but i know a lot of people would rather it be a little bit more subtle of a logo the size is just perfect on my face they are oversized but not in a huge like bug-like way. And I am gonna say something about the price that I don't want to be taken the wrong way, but these are $275, and for a pair of Gucci sunglasses, that's a good price. Please don't misconstrue, I am not saying these are a great price, they're $275, like go get them now, they can't be beat. I'm not saying that, I'm saying if you want a pair of designer Gucci sunglasses, these are about as cheap as they come, and I would choose these any day over their four or $500 options. I just think that these are so classic, they're not gonna go out of style. Like I said, the quality has been superb. They have held up so well. So I'm definitely not saying that's not a lot of money for a pair of sunglasses. I'm just saying it's a pretty good price for a pair of Gucci sunglasses. Oh my gosh, these are so dirty. I think my little boy got in here and was playing with them because they were strode all over the couch back here. So the next pair actually have two different colors. These are the Key High Key sunglasses and I have the Mini Keys. That was so many keys in one sentence, but they're the Key Mini High Key sunglasses. So these are actually 57 millimeters instead of their normal, I think it's 61 millimeters. So if you have a larger face, definitely go for the regular key sunglasses, but the mini keys for me are perfect for my smaller face. They feel like designer quality, even though they're a mid-range price, they feel much higher end than what you're paying for them. And I just love the fit so much that I got two different colors. Unfortunately, the ones I'm showing you, I do not think that they still have. I got both of these last year. So definitely, if you're interested in the aviator style for a really good, quality and price, go look into these. But I love a good aviator and these have served me well. And I have one more pair from the brand Key and I got these when this shape really started getting popular and I still love them. You've probably seen these a lot on Instagram as well. But I love how the gold on these is more of like a brushed matte gold and then the shape is just to die for. I love the shape of these. It's so trendy right now. So if you've been eyeing some that are this more roundish square shape, I would highly recommend these. They are very comfortable on. And so since these were a little bit more trendy, I didn't wanna spend like the big bucks on the really popular Ray-Ban version, so I went with these and I've been really, really pleased. And this last pair I actually called just a few months ago and these are by the brand BP. So these are only $16 and they're one of my favorites. I love the pink lenses. These will go so well with so many of my clothes. I wear a lot of blush pink. And then the white outline is so cute. And it also has white arms and the metal is a rose gold. So I got these and they've been perfect for my spring clothes, but I honestly can't wait to wear them with my swimsuits. Like a white swimsuit I think would be so cute with the white rims around the edges. The round frames are really on trend as well. I like those, but these also don't feel flimsy. So for $16, you're not gonna get something that feels like it's about to break from the first day. These feel very sturdy and a really good quality for the price. Now we're on to number eight and that is shorts. So once again, we have another item that I did purchase last year, but that they still have again this year. And these were my most reached for pair of shorts last year, so I definitely had to let you know about them. These are so comfortable. I just found them to be the perfect length. They're not too short for me because I do feel very uncomfortable in shorts that are too short, but also they're not like a midi length. So I really enjoyed the length on these. Here's the back of them. So they have lots of good coverage in the back, but they don't go all the way down here. 
And then, I know this sounds crazy, but the pockets coming out in the front made me feel just a little bit more covered up as well. It kind of hides the rips right here so you don't see the skin through them. So with these being my most worn pair last year, I definitely had to let you know about them because I wore them so much and I would highly recommend them. Even though these were my most worn pair last year, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get knocked off of its throne this year because I found this pair I cannot wait to try these on for you. Just wait. I freaking love this pair of shorts. This is by the brand Good American. Yes, the brand by Khloe Kardashian, but Khloe knows how to make a really good pair of shorts because these are just perfect. I love everything about them. They are extremely high-waisted. I kind of love the distressing on the front of these right here. Um, it's just something a little different, and it looks like that because the inside is a button fly. And these buttons are so cute. They're a copper color. I know that doesn't really matter, but it's just a little detail that I really loved. Um, the color is just perfect. The distressing is perfect. I love how it's like a little bit different of a hem. It does come down longer on the side, which I really like. Like it covers this little area that always has cellulite. Um, and it has good booty coverage in the back without being too short or too long. This is another pair that I thought was the perfect length. I think these are a three and a half inch inseam. So normally you'll find a three inch inseam or a four inch. So anytime that I see a pair of shorts has a three and a half inch inseam, I buy them and I try them because that's like my sweet spot. That is my perfect length for myself. I love a three and a half inch inseam. And these are just, these are it. Like I love these, love the color, love the distressing, high waist. They're also like, they hug your waist. You see there's no gaping. I think that's one of her selling points is like the waist of these never gapes. It fits really nice up here, but it's not too tight in the legs. I have bought high-end denim shorts in the past, but I had kind of gotten away from that the past few years. I mean, Old Navy has had such good things the past couple of years that that's what I've gone for. I haven't spent like the little extra money on the high-end. The Treasure and Bond, I, I think they're like a mid-range. They're not like super high-end like these are, but these, I will spend the money on. Like these are staying home with me. These are gonna be my most worn pair. I just love them. I did size down and I'll put, of course, on the bottom of the screen what size I got, but definitely read at the top of the description. It says, I think it's size zero to eight. You need to size down, but size eight and on um, fits true to size. So definitely look at that when you're purchasing. So if you're in between that size range, size down, otherwise they run true to size. We are almost to the end with item number nine and that is a good baseball cap. So this one to me was a no-brainer. This is the perfect basic. It's just that good, neutral, natural material that is gonna go with anything. I also love the back. It has a leather strap and a little matte gold uh, clip right here to adjust it. But I just love the way this was textured and natural mixed with the brown leather. But you can just see how cute this hat is and it's gonna go with every outfit. I mean, this color, you cannot go wrong with. No matter what you're wearing, no matter what shoes you're wearing, this is gonna be a really cute option for dirty hair days, to keep the sun off your face, to go run to the park and run errands. And also it can be used to just be an accessory for your outfit, wear it with your hair down and curled with a really cute outfit. I think a baseball cap is just so versatile, so that's why I included it in my top 10 basics. And now for our last item, number 10, and that is maxi dresses. Now you notice I said maxi dresses. I actually have four to try on for you. I have one that I purchased years ago that they actually still surprisingly have. Then I have a couple of new ones to try on for you and one, this red one right here, that is very, very low on sizes. Everything that I picked up, I tried to make sure was completely fully in stock in every size. And this one sold out like within the last few days. So I don't understand that, but I will try it on for you. And if they still have it in your size, definitely scoop it up, but if not, Hopefully they'll restock soon. So the first maxi dress I have to show you is the one that I have owned for years and years and years. I can't even honestly remember when I bought it. It has been that long. And at this point, it's like a classic Nordstrom staple. I don't know how many years they've had this exact dress, but a very long time. And then also for some reason, they have this exact color again this year and it is on sale right now. So I definitely wanted to share that with you. It's easy to dress up and dress down and it is so comfortable. It's just that nice like cottony stretchy material. It has a really good stretch to it. It's just nice and simple up top. It's not too low cut. On mine, the straps are adjustable. I hope it's still that way on the 
um, current version, but it's the same scoop neck in the back. It has an elastic waist that is very nice and stretchy, like I don't feel constricted and confined. So like I said, this is just a good classic staple closet item. So this maxi dress that I was just drawn to because I love the color, I love the floral, and it just seems so beautiful and feminine. Um, I also love that the straps were a little bit thicker on the spaghetti strap and the bottom half just fits so flattering. The way this ties and it has a little bit of ruching right here up under the tie, it just draws in the waist. It's cut just a little bit slimmer right here and then it flares out from there. So it's just a really good cut for a maxi dress. The only issue that I have with it on myself is that the bust area is a little bit too big. So I don't think I can size down because of the waist and the bottom fits absolutely perfect, but the chest is just a little bit too big for me. So I am a small C cup, but if you have a larger chest than mine, or it's just more prominent of a chest, this is gonna fit you perfectly both in the chest and then it's just beautiful in the waist and the rest of the maxi. This material is just dreamy. It is lined, even though it doesn't have to be. Like the material is so thick, but it has a nice lining everything just drapes beautifully and it's one of those dresses that just feels so good on like you just feel pretty in it it feels nice and high quality you just feel really good when you put on something like this and that's the kind of clothing that i really really enjoy having in my closet so either if you can fill out the top or maybe you're in between sizes and you can size down one size um, this would fit beautifully and I just love the cut of it. So this is the maxi dress that unfortunately is almost sold out so I'm not going to talk about it too long but Look at that color. First of all, the color is one of my favorite things. It's so nice and vibrant. It verges on like an orangey red. And a couple of details that I love about it is that the V-neck is actually sewn, so it's not gonna gape open like when you um, bend over. The sleeves are nice and full coverage, almost down to the elbow, and then there's a little bit of ruching right here. So it's a nice little detail on the sleeve. And this is just one of those dresses that you see it maybe on the hanger or maybe online, and you think, I could find something like that at Target or Old Navy, but it's one of those that you get the piece in and you put it on or you feel the fabric and you're like, okay, that is much higher quality. Like the fabric is so nice. It's kind of a thicker fabric. It's nice and soft. It's very drapey, but you can just feel the quality. It just feels totally different than what you would buy like at Target or Old Navy. So definitely the quality is high on this one. It's a beautiful floral dress. that's nice and bright for the summertime. And hopefully you're the lucky person that they still have your size left. All right, we have just one more maxi dress and it is my favorite. I saved the best maxi dress for last. So let me get that one on for you. So here is the last maxi dress. It is a denim maxi dress that is definitely more of a splurge for me. But when I saw it online, I thought not only is that really adorable, but it's denim and it's just not gonna go out of style. It's totally classic. It has really nice details, but I'm not gonna be worried that I can't wear it next year or the year after that. I can keep this for years down the road and wear it and not worry about it still being on trend or in style. It's just a really good, classic, never go out of style piece. The top is smocked and it's very, very stretchy, so it's gonna accommodate a lot of different chest sizes. And then the top has these adorable tied bows. Now these are sewed shut, so you're not gonna have to worry about like them coming loose and falling right down. These are tied into these bows so hopefully these hold up really well like in the wash you don't have to worry about retying them another reason that I felt it was justified for the amount of money for me personally anyway is that the top comes up really high this would be absolutely perfect for a little baby bum now I'm not sure if we're gonna have any more kids but we are definitely hope to have more children in the future so any piece that I can wear throughout pregnancy and also before and after is a winner in my book Price per wear goes down. It's so hard to find cute things to wear while you're pregnant. So this, I thought, would be perfect. I mean, it would even be pretty for pictures. This is totally off subject, but if we do end up having another child, we wanna wait and be surprised about the gender. So if I took like maternity photos, I can't wear blue or pink like I normally do. Um, this would be the perfect like gender neutral dress. That's totally just me though. I wanted to just mention it though, in case you were um, looking for something maternity friendly for this summer, this dress would be perfect. And then you don't have to worry about just putting it in the back of your closet once you have the baby. You could definitely wear this. It's nice and flowy if you still have like a leftover little baby bump. It's just really pretty, high quality, and I was so excited to find it. So just like the previous video, I was able to put a really cute outfit together with just the basics I have on the camel treasure and bond wedges with the denim maxi dress. And then I put on the dangly Kendra Scott earrings. These are just so perfect. 
so pretty. So of course I'm giving you the basics that you can build upon, but also I just love a good all basic outfit. It's so me and that's why I love doing these videos so much. So thank you all so much for spending time with me today. I hope that you really enjoyed this series and that it was helpful for you. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you're in need of some good basics or your best friends are, please let them know. I have Target, Old Navy, and Nordstrom for you to choose from. So I do end up covering all different price points, but regardless of the price, it's all really, really good stuff. And I hope that you find something you absolutely love. Once again, I so appreciate you being here and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.